It's been two years since we've been here at the NEC in Birmingham and as you can imagine the manufacturers and the exhibitors they've got a lot to show us. We're not going to get to all of it in just this one video but hopefully this is the top 10 takeaways from the show. We will also have highlights in the magazine exclusive to members and you can find more on our website but for now let's start off with Emily Gravener giving us an update about the Bailey Alicanto. Launched in 2019, Bailey's Alicanto range of caravans has been pitched as the popular brand's most luxurious range and you can see the latest models at the show, including the Alicanto Grande 2 Lisbon. This four-berth single-axle unit is priced from £35,000, so it is a commitment if you're thinking about buying it, but you might just be swayed by the van's generous eight-foot width and the fact that it's packed full of swanky features. Who can resist this light-filled living area with its huge vertical window, the spacious bedroom with its five-foot-wide king-size bed, the kitchen with loads of workspace and top-notch fittings, and the boutique washroom with Belfast-style sink and large shower cubicle? And if you like the look of this caravan, you can read the full review in the April issue of Camping and Caravanning magazine. Launching here at the show is the Carpento range of caravans built in Turkey exclusively for Freedom Caravans in Staffordshire. It's well known for its tiny Freedom range of caravans. The exterior styling is certainly eye-catching with radius front and rear corners and a steep rake to the roof up front. The three models in the all new range with this 5 berth Carpento 410 the largest. It measures just 5.4 metres long and the layout features two separate lounges, one at the front, the other at the rear. There's a kitchenette by the door and a small washroom on the offside. Interior styling is minimal to say the least, but maybe that's a welcome challenge to some potential owners. With a maximum weight of 1,000 kilos, it can be towed comfortably by a Volkswagen Golf-sized car. And this model costs from £21,500. GoPod builds tiny pod caravans, and since we were last here, they've had some positive exposure on the BBC's Top Gear. This is their newest caravan on show, a special edition built in conjunction with campervan converter Overlander. The layout is pretty much the same as the standard GoPod, but it definitely has a more striking, stylish interior. They all pay an extra £3,500 for this version. The club has attracted a record number of members this year, and a lot of them have been visiting the stand to learn all about it. Many of them have been wanting to come outside to try their hand at towing caravans. But, you know, not all of them have been wanting caravans. Some of them have got a few motorhomes, and I've even had my eye on one particular camper van on the auto sleepers stand. It's been around 30 years since auto sleepers built a Ford based Tourer, but they are back with a vengeance. This pop top is a four berth sleeper, thanks to a drop down mattress in the roof and a fold out bed on the ground floor. The bottom bunk is very easy to set up. You move the rear seat forward, which is very easily done on the stirrups there, and then you push a back panel down, move the seated position forward, and drop the back into the bed. Um, and it's quite a nice flat bed for the whole thing. By moving the rear seats back to the original position, you can turn it into a quite a nice social area. The driving seats, they swivel round to face the rear seat, and you can install a table there as well to create quite a nice dining area. And there is a nice shower hose at the back which you can pull out on an extension lead. It would be nice if they had something that you can attach it to so you can have a little stand-up shower. But it's incredibly useful if you're taking away the dog and they get a bit muddy or you want to clean off some equipment at the end of a long day of walking. On the whole, it's great to see Ford back as part of the auto sleeper stable. And judging by this one, they're making up for lost time. French motorhome maker Chausson is known for its innovation and this, the X550, is the latest in a long line of eye-catching models. It's a coach built measuring less than 6 metres so it's the same size as most regular campervan conversions and yet it still manages to pack full motorhome facilities inside. The smart lounge is a factor in this trick of ergonomics. The table can be adjusted for height and the side sofas can quickly be turned into a pair of forward-facing travel seats. The hinged backrests for the travel seats are hidden under the seat base and fold and click into place. The dinette turns into a double bed with a second double bed that drops down above it. There's also a compact kitchen and spacious washroom that spans across the rear of the van. It's priced at a shade under 70000 and this clever motor packs a great deal into its tiny dimensions. 
Camper Van Co. is a company that's exhibiting at the Birmingham show for the first time this year, but that doesn't mean it's a newcomer. It already has at least a thousand hybrid van conversions under its belt, mainly built on Japanese vans like the Toyota Alphard. This is their first camper built on the plug-in hybrid Ford chassis. It'll take you around town for about 25 miles on an electric charge, but still happily got them from their base northeast of Glasgow to the NEC without topping up with petrol. Swedish manufacturer Carbe has had an interest in coachman caravans for a few years now, but this week is the first anniversary of it taking full control of the company in 2021. The Carbe influence is now showing in the form of this new Coachman Travelmaster motorhome, which mirrors its parent company's Travelmaster series, but with a few UK touches, like having the door to the living area on the passenger side for UK roads. This is a Coachman Travelmaster 565, the twin bed version of three models in the series. It's a big beast, you'll need C1 on your driving licence to drive it, and has a price tag that tops £100,000, but the quality shines through. It's built on the Mercedes Sprinter for a start, with a 170 horsepower engine and 9-speed automatic gearbox. Such things as a 140 watt solar panel, wireless charging, a 130 amp hour battery, a premium sound system and even air conditioning come as standard. The cab has a functional feel, but otherwise the luxury is obvious from the front to the back. These cab seats are supremely comfortable and there are plenty of storage spaces around to keep your stuff neatly out of the way. One particularly sleek feature is the drop down double bed, which is almost invisible when it's stored away in the ceiling. The kitchen is mainly opposite the entrance door, with contrasting glossy fronts to the upper cupboards that have lots of shelves inside. There's not much workspace, but this sink has a large cover that can be used if needed. The cooker has an electric hot plate alongside three gas burners and a full grill and separate oven. If you're on an electric cook-up, you can also take advantage of the microwave that's opposite, but it's set very high up above the large Dometic fridge, which is in a great place for getting out hot food. Under the sink, you'll find more clever storage options, including a pull-out rack and a couple of containers for recycling. A bit behind the kitchen is the toilet cubicle, with a wonderful array of hooks and rails for towels or similar. There's also a smart vanity unit and plenty of space for your toiletries below the basin and in a mirrored corner cupboard above it. If you open the door of the toilet, you can create a full-width washroom that connects with the square shower cubicle on the other side of the motorhome. Right at the back is the master bedroom with twin beds and their luxurious mattresses. It feels very cosy here, helped by the fabric covered walls and padded headboard. As you might expect from a Swedish designed vehicle, this is a well insulated model and much thought has gone into the heating design. It has energy efficient windows and heating convectors inside the doorstep for example. This new Coachman motorhome certainly isn't the cheapest on the market, but it's well designed, luxurious and draws on a great heritage, so if it's within your budget and your driving licence can take it, it's definitely worth checking out. Away from motorhomes, we're now going to look at all things canvas. But we're not leaving wheels behind entirely just yet, because I have spotted a trailer tent that I want you to take a look at. Now, Alpencruiser is new to the UK market, but it is a sister brand of Dorema and brings a fresh look to trailer tents with its new open air. For me, this is built for family-friendly camping. Out of the trailer comes the social area with a gothic arch that offers plenty of space for a table and is inflatable, which is something you don't always see on a trailer tent. There are some storm straps on the outside to ensure that it doesn't flap about too much at the windier club sites. But the canvas is 100% 10 cake cotton fabric, making it suitable for all weathers. The bed comes out of the trailer and it lifts up to give you more storage space below. The sleeping area is poled rather than inflated and it has a dark inner canvas to make sleeping easier if you're prone for a lion in the morning. There is an annex available which is perfect for kids or even a spacious bedroom for the dog and even with the annex on each side you'll still be smaller than the maximum pitch site available on club sites. The annex has a door on the outside and the inside should you need to get up in the night and you don't want to disturb the rest of your party. When it's all packed up, you can hitch it to your car with the Alco chassis. But if towing is not your thing, Rob has been checking out a new roof tent from Dometic. 
It is an interesting addition to the growing number of rooftop tents for cars. It's an electrically operated model from Dometic. A 12 volt supply from a leisure battery or from the vehicle's cigar lighter, for example, sees the tent raise in around one minute at the push of a remote control button. The tent measures 2.2 metres by 1.3 metres, so should sleep too in comfort, and it has an aluminium alloy frame. Inside there's a 5 centimetres thick mattress, and has bags for tools and boots. The three windows and door have double layers with fly screens for, for great ventilation in summer weather, and a simple lightweight telescopic ladder makes clambering aboard pretty much straightforward. There's also a PVC cover that keeps it in good nick when it's packed down and not in use. This model is priced at a shade under £2,000. You'll see lots of well-known tent brands at the show, with the latest models from Atwell, Van Gogh, Coleman, Zempire, and all of the big names you'd expect to see. What you might not expect to see is this brand, Snow Peak, a Japanese company established in the 1950s that's becoming well-known for its outdoor clothing and its super stylish tents and accessories. You can see some of the company's biggest sellers at the show, including this Takibi tarp. It's made of flame-resistant material, so you can set up your campfire underneath it, and it retails at £650. There's also a collection of the company's most popular tents, including the Forberth Elfield Tunnel Tent with its neat built-in cover, priced at £912. There's also a great range of accessories, such as stylish fire pits and cookware, and these very cool coloured titanium mugs. What's not to love? Great stuff from Emily there about another new brand here in the UK. Which just about wraps up our top 10 takeaways from the caravan, camping and motorhome show. We hope you enjoyed that, but if you want to read more, you can check out the next edition of your member exclusive magazine. And make sure you visit campingandcaravanningclub.co.uk for a full report.